I will um, call this meeting to order. This is the Northampton License Commission, Wednesday, October 18th, virtual meeting at 4 p.m. Present this afternoon, myself, Natasha Yakovlev, Commissioners Helen Kahn and Jennifer Ewers. And this meeting is being Zoom recorded. Before we start, do we have anybody here for public comment? Please raise your Zoom hand if so. And not seeing any Zoom hands, we will jump right in on the agenda. Item number three, we have an application for short-term liquor license for Frank Newhall Look Memorial Park, 300 North Main Street in Florence, Saturday, October 28th, 2023, and Sunday, October 29th, 2023, from 2 to 8 p.m. This is going to be in the ball field, and it is the Look Park Fall Weekend at Haunted Train, and the license being sought is for wine and malt. And do we have somebody from the park? Hello. Hi, yep, Marcus here. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Good I had thing. to go on my phone. My uh, desktop version of Zoom needed an update. It wouldn't open up. No worries. Here we are. No problem. We can see you and hear you, so that's plenty. Right. Um, do you want to let us know about this event? Yep, so it's the first time we're doing this event. We wanted to add more to the whole Honda train aspect and, and make it more like whole family and, and adult and have some more fun in the afternoon. So, yep, we're going to try for two afternoons. And, uh, you know, we have a couple local beer and cider vendors coming in each day. And we're going to yeah, set up a little bar and concessions table in the ball field. Have uh, We have a local small local band doing an acoustic set for a few hours and uh, partnering with Parks and Rec. They're doing a separate uh, kids area, which will be, you know, separately, separate physically. And, and uh, both areas will be snow fenced in to be self-contained. Okay. And so it's going to run sort of for, yeah, late afternoon from like a two to six or so. And who do you have for uh, vendors? Do you have a line to get the beer and cider? Yeah, so no, we well, we order our own you know, alcohol through commercial and quality distributing. And for local folks, we have Artifact Cider and uh, Progression Building 8 on one day and Leadfoot from Chicopee and Loophole from like Ludlow mm -hmm. come in another day. Okay. Just to do tastings. Sounds good. Uh, do the other commissioners have any questions? No, sounds great. No, I wanted to confirm that the alcohol area was going to be um, cornered off, but it sounded like uh, Mark mentioned there's snow fencing, so so it will be contained in that area. Yes, that it will be. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, perfect. Hmm. Yep, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Great. Then is there a motion? Sure, I move to approve the short-term liquor license for Frank Newhall Look Memorial Park as detailed on item three on, of the agenda. Second. Nina, Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Great. Thank you. Have fun with the event. Great. Thanks. Sure thing. Number four, applications for short-term liquor licenses for the Academy of Music Theater at 274 Main Street. This is Wine and Malt, and there is a requested fee waiver for the following dates. October 19th, 7 to 11 p.m. for Jessica Kirsten. Sunday, October 22nd, 7 to 11 for the Jayhawks. Wednesday, November 29th, 7 to 11 for the Bike and Ski Works, Warren Miller. And Thursday, December 28th from 7 to 11 for Southside Johnny. And do we have Nikki here? Uh, Melissa's here. Oh, Melissa. Hi, Melissa. How are you? Good. How are you? Thank you. Um, anything different happening? Nope. Same okay. as always. Great. Does anybody have any questions then for Melissa? No. No, no and questions. I'm ready for a motion then. I had to move to approve the applications for short-term liquor licenses for the Academy of Music as detailed on item four of the agenda. Second. Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Thanks, Melissa. All right. Thanks, everyone. Number five, application for a short-term liquor license for Click Workspace Incorporated, nine and a half Market Street, Friday, October 27th, seven to 9 p.m. This is for the Click Music Show and it is a wine and malt license being sought. Hello. Yes, I'm here, sorry, I'm doing this on my phone because we have no power down here on Market I, wow. Street. I heard that, yeah. 
<laughs> anyway, um, it's, yeah, it's our same setup. We have uh, local bands playing, and we set up a little bar um, with wine and beer. Um, and that's it, pretty much. Excellent. I have no questions. Does anybody have any questions? No, nope. I know you've done this before, so. Yeah. Thank you. No questions. Ready for a motion. Want to take it, Jennifer? Sure. I propose a motion to approve the application um, for a short-term liquor license for Click Workspace at nine and a half Market Street as listed on item number five of our agenda. Second. And Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Great. Thank you. Thank you for making it. Next up, item six, application for short-term liquor license for Think Tank Brewers, LLC, DBA Progression Brewing Company, November 11th and 12th from 11 to 7 p.m. at Look Park, 300 North Main Street for Northampton Cycle Cross. And this is a wine and malt license. Hello. Hello. How are y'all? How are you? Oops. Oops. My little dog. <clears throat> um, yeah, this, is a, um, this will be our third year there. Mm -hmm. Um nothing different this year we actually are going to bring the the tap wagon instead of can four. oh but great it's um so it's, uh, nothing's really changed there's a new organizer this year but i don't think that affects anything yep great i have no questions <laughs> it's a family favorite event so i'm super familiar with it yeah um helen and jennifer do you guys have any questions for drew no 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 questions all right then we're ready for a motion all right, I move to approve the application for short-term liquor licenses for Think Tank Brewers LLC DBA Progression Brewing Company as detailed on item six on the agenda. Second. And Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Annie, are you okay if I do the St. John's short-term? Yeah, for sure. Not Okay, great. Then we're going to jump to the application for the short-term liquor license for St. John's Episcopal Church at 48 Elm Street. This is for Saturday, November 11th from 4 to 8 p.m., a concert and auction benefit, and wine and malts will be served. And do we have someone here from St. John's? Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Can you let us know your name since the first time you're here? Uh, Teresa Dudenack. Okay, great. And do you want to let us know a little bit about your event? Sure. Um, so we've been gifted three grand pianos over the course of the year. And our, our uh, organist has a few very renowned friends who are, have agreed to play music for designed for three grands. So we're going to have a concert benefit and a silent auction. And the uh, ticket fee is does include one adult beverage, which will be served during intermission. Uh, in the parlors where the auction will take place. Okay. And do you have um, your distributor lined up yet? Because that was... Yes. Well, we think it's going to be Black Birch. They've done, uh, they've worked with Mana before who was housed at St. John's. And so we just have to reach a confirmation with okay. them. Okay. Because you know, it can't be donated. Right. Yeah. We. Uh, I, I, I realized that when I talked to Annie. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Great. Great. Yeah. And Annie, what? How much time do you need to get confirmation on Black Birch? Um, I just need the information before I issue the license, and the license needs to be on the premise for the event. So as long as it's before the eleven. Okay. Fine. Thank you. Some time. Um, Helen and Jennifer, do you have any questions or comments? No. No. No questions. All right. And is there a motion with a contingency for that final piece of information? Sure, I make a motion to approve the application for a short term <clears throat> liquor license for St. John's Episcopal Church, um, contingent upon receiving um, the name of a distributor or a distributor, um, as detailed in item 14 on the agenda. Yes. Second. And Natasha? Yes. Ellen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great event. All right, moving back to item number seven, we have a review and vote to adopt a decision letter on the final revocation of the Pearl Street Nightclub Incorporated liquor license. So we have um, the letter 
that was drafted that Annie sent to us. Have you guys had a chance to review it? No. Um, Annie, do we need to read this letter for the record or is it part of the record as a document? Yeah, it's part of the record as a document. You can, yeah. Okay. Um, I have I have no questions or issues with it. How about you guys? No, it looks good to me. Yeah, I don't yeah. have any edits or anything. No, it looks good. Okay. Then is there a, Annie, did you want to add anything? Uh, no. Okay. Nope. Okay, then is there a motion to, or yeah, a motion to accept this? Yes, I'll make a motion to adopt the decision letter on the final revocation of the Pearl Street Nightclub Inc. liquor license. Second. Um, and Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Great. Thank you. Item number eight, we have a public hearing on an application for a change of manager, change of officers, directors, and transfer of stock on an annual all alcohol package store license. This is for 84 Maple Incorporated DBA Doyle's package store at 84 Maple Street in Florence. The new manager and office director is going to be Virginia Cummings. Uh, make a motion to open the public hearing. Was that a motion or did you ask for a motion? I made a motion, but okay. I should ask for the motion. No, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Second. Okay. <laughs> just didn't want to be redundant. That's all. Right. <laughs> and uh, Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Um, is there anybody here for public comment on this agenda item? I'm not seeing any Zoom hands, then we can move straight to it. Hello, Virginia. Oh, how are you? Nice you. Thank you for having me and uh, scheduling me in. It's sure. new for me, so I appreciate it. Sure. Do you want to um, let us know about the changes that are being proposed? Yes. I mean, essentially, I wanted to um, purchase the framework for the business uh, the way it was uh, currently structured. Um, my father had set up a you know, an incorporated business, 84 Maple Inc., for which the, um, sorry, for which the uh, package store um, has had its license um, under. And because of all of the various, you know, accounts with all of our vendors and uh, distributors, I wanted to be able to just continue operating uh, under the current framework. So um, I had discussed it with my brothers, you know, since our father had passed, there's been a lot of, you know, family business to attend to between the properties and um, this business. Um, so it was my intention since um, early 2020 to, um, and desire to take over the, the liquor store. Um, yeah. But we had to go through some other, you know, legal things as well. So um, it is now come to pass. I've worked with my brother, Steve, who is the current manager. He's actually at the store today, so I can be on here. Um, but, you know, so we're working together um, and I have had, you know, some experience through 2020, 2021. Mm -hmm. um, and it was my plan. I bought also the family home so I can be close to the business. Um, so I'll be up the street and I'm renovating that. So there's a lot of New change, um, sadly, mm -hmm. but good change, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Great. It's big learning curve for me. I've never run a liquor store before. I walked in in 2020. So I used to run bird stores. So I grew up on the block. Oh, okay. but yeah. So I do have a lot of practical business experience. Okay. And, uh, so. Okay. And have you found anything particularly challenging about running a liquor store? Oh my gosh, the amount of inventory, uh, just even the way distributors only, there's not a lot of cross pollination or cross, you know, reference for liquor. So one distributor only carries a particular item. So it, that, that was a lot of, you know, that's actually from managing and ordering perspectives, um, just being conscientious of the, the laws and regulations and, um, staying compliant you know obviously you know you have to be on your toes be aware of what's going on i am i did go through a tips training um so okay that, you know but a lot of 
you know, just learning. It's not like running just any business. So there's a lot more responsibility with that. Certainly. Yes. Uh, any questions or comments from Jennifer and Helen? I don't have any questions. Okay. Um, Virginia, did you want to add anything else before we close the public hearing and take our vote? Um, no, I'm okay. just looking forward to getting going with it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, all your paperwork is submitted, which is um, perfect. Oh, great. Yeah. So then is there a motion to close the public hearing? Like a motion to close the public hearing. Second. And Natasha? Yes. Ellen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Um, so commissioners, as I just said, all the documents are in. Um, there's certainly a familiarity with the new leadership of the business. So I don't see any issues in moving forward with approving this. I agree. Yep. Thank you. I agree. All right. Would someone like to make a motion then for the approval? Sure, I'll make a motion to approve the application for change of manager, change of officers, directors, and transfer of stock on an annual all alcohol package store license for 84 Maple Incorporated DBA Doyle's package store. Second. Um, Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Great. Thank you, Virginia. It was nice to meet you. Thank you so much as well. All right. Item number nine, we have a public hearing and an application for a transfer of an annual all alcohol restaurant license and transfer of a common Victor license and entertainment license from Iron Horse Ventures Incorporated DBA Iron Horse Music Hall to the Parlor Room Incorporated DBA The Iron Horse 2022 Center Street. And the proposed manager of record is Chris Freeman. And would somebody like to make a motion to open the public hearing? Make a motion to open the public hearing. Second. Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Is there anybody here uh, to make public comment on this issue? Not seeing anybody. All right, great. So I see that we have Randy and Chris here. Um, thank you so much for coming and thank you for your investment. And we're really excited about this. So congratulations on how far you've gotten at this point. Um, before we start, I wanted to let you know, we still have some outstanding pieces of um, paperwork that we need from Eric. And we can do this one of two ways. We can, um, I can just say that and we can close the public hearing and I can talk to the my fellow commissioners and bring them up to speed on that because they're not aware of it completely yet. We're gonna make a decision about that but I wanted to also um, offer you the opportunity to speak because we respect your time and we certainly appreciate that you are here today. And this literally is something that we learned like a half an hour ago. So um, we would have given you more notice if we changed the agenda, but would you like to share where you're at with your progress at this point? Yeah, um, uh, we have a, uh, first off, thanks for letting, thanks for having us here and- um, of course. Uh, for helping us helping us through this process, um, but yeah, we have a, a signed purchase and sale and sale agreement um, uh, that I believe is contingent upon this license coming through, um, and we've you know we've secured funding for it, and uh, and yeah, there's a million other things we could say, but I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what's relevant here. Right. And Randy, if you have anything to add. Yeah, he, just to give you an update where we're at, um, as Chris mentioned, you know, purchase and sale agreements, lease agreements are signed. Um, we've interviewed and have proposals from architects and builders. Oh, um, so basically all waiting on on confirmation of the, the license uh, yep. being referred to the state for transfer. Yep. And I'm, I wish that this process could be going faster to that end. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Um, do the commissioners have any questions or comments for these folks? No, I, I mean, I think it's incredibly exciting and I hope that we uh, get through this with the paperwork work issues and that they won't hold us back. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to get there. Um, then would somebody like to make a motion to close the public hearing so we can discuss the rest of this? I'd make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. Uh, Natasha? Yes. 
Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Okay, so um, what has happened is we're still missing the certificate of good standing from Eric. And one of the reasons for the delay is because his his business hadn't been operating, but he hadn't formally closed it. Is that correct, Annie? Um, we yes, hadn't, as far as I understand it. I hadn't formally closed it out with the state. Right. Okay. So our understanding is of this afternoon that that process is well underway. Um, but what it is going to require of us is to have a vote if we wish to offer a continuance for this to carry it forward and have another public hearing at our next meeting, at which point we hope to have this paperwork. Or if if the commission has the option, of course, to decide to do something else. But my um, my opinion, of course, is to stay the course. Yeah. <laughs> and see this through. Um. Uh, my confusion, I guess, with the information that we just got was, I know that it sounds like Eric's doing all he can to get this. I, it wasn't clear to me if it can be gotten just because it sounded so definitive from the, from the state or wherever that piece of paper is coming from. But are we, do you, do you have any more information about that, Annie? I mean, so yeah, so in, in my experience there, this has happened before, um, whether it's from the Department of Revenue or the Department of Unemployment Assistance, where there's um, a either a dissolved corporation or no longer in business entity, and eventually something comes through, whether it be a certificate or an email from somebody at the state saying that such and such um, LLC or incorporated is in compliance so um typically i mean this just happened actually with a transaction that's still on my desk and it eventually came through um even though the llc is now defunct and not operating so yes i think it will will happen it's just a matter of time and a matter of making sure that the state has everything that they need from eric okay. Okay, good to hear. Yeah, yeah, that it's just a matter of time and it's not something that might ne never happen. Um, and then we'd have but to figure Eric confirmed else. with you today that, yeah. that he submitted everything that's required. No, he, the state does not have everything that is required from him, but he's, him and his office are working on it. And he is here in case you, I, in, if you want to recognize him. Um, Eric, we would like to recognize you for a moment, please. Can you hear me? Yes, thank you. Hi, thank you. Sorry, my camera does not work on this computer. I'm not trying to hide from you. Nope, that's um, okay. So, yeah, so um, I, yeah, I did explain to Annie. So, you know, we've been working on this and we're just finding out certain things, um, found out certain things that have been trying to be, be, be cleared since we've had the last meeting. So, um, some, everything Annie said is correct, except there's still pieces that pieces of the puzzle that we have to submit. And so, um, for instance, the DUA piece, everything on the DUA side at the Iron Horse is up to date because those payrolls were still maintained um, all the way up through um, a period where we were still able to access the, the uh, unemployment site to be able to request that. But on the DOR side, there have been certain filings that some unbeknownst to us that had to happen based on the business not operating for that period of time and some other pieces that we're just finding out. So as I mentioned to Annie, with everybody's help on our end, that we're going to work diligently and have been working diligently to get it done. I know stuff came through on on some of the other companies and some of it came through uh, piecemeal. Uh, the green room all came through complete because that entity had been open all the way up through um, not all that long ago, but because the Iron Horse, and I'll get into the basement. We have that. It was the same situation. The basement hadn't been open for three years, but from a DUA standpoint, they issued at least what Annie had mentioned an email to us, and they say that that certificate is coming. The Iron Horse, the DUA certificate got issued almost uh, just, I think it was several days after requested, but the DOR piece, we were informed, um, and, and then had to wait for someone to get back to us for a period of days, and then informed on several pieces that they need. So 
Um, it's kind of the long-winded answer, but yes, we're diligently working forward to it. And just for Randy and Chris purposes, um, you know, we're going to cooperate on our end, however necessary, so they can take possession, but for the license. So it, it, not, hoping to not slow up anything on their end and um, between uh, the cooperation that we've been giving each other and between the attorneys, I'm, I'm not thinking there's going to be any slow up where they'll be allowed to, to take over, to go in. And it would be just but for the the um, transfer through the city and the ABCC. So we're hoping that as scheduled, they can get in there as they need to uh, for the first of the month. And with our cooperation, which won't be, uh, you know, which won't be withheld, we're, we're happy to make all of that happen. But for the paperwork and, you know, again, we're diligently working forward with all of that. Okay. Um, Helen and Jennifer, do either of you have any questions for Eric? I don't. No, I don't have questions. Okay, so um, let's discuss our options then. We we can issue a continuance to the next meeting for this piece, or we can have a discussion about doing something different. But again, my preference and recommendation would be to issue the continuance. Yeah, I mean, I wanna see this go through. I think we all do, so uh, I'm in agreement with that. Yeah, I'm very happy to hear that there won't be any delay for for you folks getting in there and starting this process. Um, that was my biggest concern when I heard this news that there was still a, a missing paperwork was that this was just going to put, put off you getting started and what needs to be done. So I'm happy to hear that. Thanks, Eric. Um, uh, thank you. Then before a vote on continuance, mm -hmm. are you okay with that, Jennifer? Are you, or do you have, I am, I am. I think I, I, shared Helen's concerns that, you know, are we waiting for something that's never going to happen? But I'm reassured by Annie's experience and that she has seen this process in other instances um, play out. So it's it's going to take some time, but I'm confident that we'll all get there. Okay, great. Then would one of you like to make a motion on issuing a continuance to our November 15th meeting? And just before you do that, just um, make sure that you include the date and the time for the hearing. Okay. The November meeting just. Can you give me that? It's <laughs> November 5th, Wednesday, November 15th at 4 p.m. Yeah. Okay. So is it enough to say I make a motion to continue item number nine on the agenda to um, the next scheduled license commission meeting on November 15th at 4 p.m. Okay. And that's what I've done. <laughs> <laughs> Second. <laughs> Consider <And> it moved. <laughs> Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Great. Great. Randy and John, thank you for being here and for your patience. Thank you. We'll see you November 15th and we'll give you an update then. Yes, excellent. Okay, thank you. you need. Item number 10, we have a public hearing on application for transfer and change of location on an annual all alcohol restaurant license transfer from 2123 Center Street, LLC, DBA Center Street Cafe slash the basement, 21 Center Street, transfer to Gombo Oyster Bar, LLC, 159 Main Street. The proposed manager of record is John Pistor. And do we have a motion to open the public uh, hearing? Sorry, I'm walking around. Oh, that's okay. Uh, motion to open the public hearing. Second. Um, Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Okay. Uh, is there anybody here for public comment? Seeing nobody, we can start. John, I'm not sure, were you listening to the previous agenda item? I did, yeah. I, I had heard that uh, there's some outstanding paperwork. Um, it sounds like the paperwork for the basement could be available uh, it, coming up soon. I, that's what Eric just said. But uh, Yeah, we're hoping. We I'm don't sure have it yet. Know. Yep, so we can't, um, we won't be vote. We're, we're going to have a similar vote to the one we just took for the Iron Horse. Um, but I also wanted to give you the opportunity to take this time if you want to update us on what your plans are for the license, or we can also wait until... Um, the next public hearing. Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, it's just great for us to be able to expand our offerings and have a wider uh, range of uh, alcoholic beverages to serve to our guests. Um, but I guess we can get into more of the details uh, when it comes uh, comes to. Okay, great. Thank right. you. 
Okay. Um, Helen and Jennifer, do you have anything you'd like to ask John while we have to look here or anything? No, I don't have questions. No. Nope. Okay. No nope. questions. Thank you. Is there a motion, please, to close? Motion to close the public hearing. Second. Uh, Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Okay, so we have the similar question here. We can vote to offer a continuance to November 15th, or we can make another decision. So we should do the, what we just did and yep, yeah, yep. do it for this. Yep. The well. continuance is yep. fine, it's fair. Yep, excellent. And again, if John's still here, I don't know if he is, thank you for coming forward for this license and your investment in downtown. <laughs> <laughs> um, can somebody make a motion then for the continuance? Sure. I move to continue item number 10 on the agenda um, to our next scheduled license commission meeting on November 15th at 4 p.m. Second. And Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Moving on then to agenda item number 11, public hearing on an application for a transfer of annual all alcohol restaurant license and transfer of a common victualler license from 2628 Center Street, LLC, DBA, The Green Room to Berkshire Farm Collective, LLC, DBA, The Green Room, 28 Center Street. And the proposed manager of record will be Perrin Hendrick. Hello, Hello everyone. Um, is there a motion to open the public hearing? Oh, motion to open the public hearing. <laughs> Second. Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Is there anybody here for public comment? Seeing nobody, we will open this up. Hello. Hello. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Congratulations. Thank on you. This stuff. Thank you so much for coming forward and investing in downtown. Yeah, it's our pleasure. We're very excited. Do you want to? Um, Tell us what your plans are for the green room. Yeah, uh, just a little bit of background. My business partner was part of the original uh, team that put together the green room concept about uh, in 2024 or 2014, mm -hmm. excuse me. <laughs> and we're just excited to kind of continue uh, what was built there. We're going to kind of keep it in almost exactly the same capacity. I think the idea is to have a downtown venue that is a craft cocktail space that that is an intimate setting for kind of a mature audience that really appreciates um, an elevated experience. And, uh, you know, it's our job to just kind of pick up where it was left off and then kind of continue in, in that spirit moving forward. Excellent. Um, Jennifer and Helen? Oh, nothing. Just congratulations, and it's fantastic. Excited to see the see Northampton downtown come alive again. Yeah, we are too. Yep, and excited. you're the lucky duck who's all the paperwork's in order today. Yeah, know, so. Oh well, that, yeah, that <laughs> a lot of that probably fell to luck, honestly. But, uh, <laughs> probably. There were some components that were outside of our control, so yes, always. I'm glad to hear that everything's there. Yes, no, everything is here. Um, Jennifer, did you have anything you wanted to add before we move on to a vote? Uh, well, you know, just because we have you, Perrin, can I just cheat? And I feel like I'm cheating a little bit, but can you remind us of your time frame? Because we are excited. Sure. So Yeah, so, <laughs> well, we are too. Uh, so a lot of this hinges upon the, uh, the liquor license and the transfer. Yep. Yep. And once that happens, um, basically, we're going to move forward and, and try and get in there beginning, you know, beginning of winter, middle of winter. Um, so we want to make sure we put our best foot forward when we open, but we're also very uh, eager to kind of reopen and, and, and restart everything. So I bet you as are. soon as possible, it's basically the, is the, uh, yeah. the short answer. Nice. Will you have returning staff or will you be hiring fresh? We are going, well, we're putting a call out to everyone. I think this is a, this is a situation where, you know, I ha historically have some service uh, industry experience and I'm TIP certified, but honestly, the the type of experience that we're looking to kind of continue there is a very high level. Yeah. And we're looking for people that are super passionate and kind of uh, understand that there is um, something to be uh, offered where you we create a space where people that appreciate that can come. Mm -hmm. uh, so 
I'm not leaving anything off the table. Uh, some of the talent that was there has since moved on and, and is in other parts of the country. Um, but there are some folks that are still around. We're, we're, um, we're friends with a lot of them. And, and we're also casting a broad net and uh, hopefully able to attract some real talent for these positions. Yep. Um, That's great. So, yeah. Very exciting. And then did you have anything else that you wanted to add before we close the hearing? Anybody? <laughs> All right. I think we're ready. Motion to close the public hearing. I second. And Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Um, I don't really have anything to discuss in terms of putting a vote forward to approve this transfer. It's very exciting. Everything's in order. Yes. Let's yeah. do it. I Let's do it. Do. do you want the yeah. honors, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants the honors of this one? <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. I propose a motion <laughs> to transfer the annual all alcohol re restaurant license and transfer the common victualler license from 26 to 28 Center Street, LLC, DBA, The Green Room, transfer to the Berkshire Farm Collective, LLC, DBA, The Green Room, 28 Center Street, as mentioned in item number 11 of our agenda. I do second. <laughs> and Natasha? Absolutely, yes. Helen? You're here, yes. And <laughs> Jennifer? Yes, with a couple little like pumps for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That was one of the most fun ones, Perrin. Thank you. <laughs> yes, we're into this. Lovely. Yeah. I, 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 well, I really appreciate your support and I appreciate, um, well, I just appreciate that this went smoothly and we're really rooting for Gombo and, and uh, the Iron Horse to come through as well. Yep. I think, um, you know, yeah. So. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Item number 12, request to rescind a previously approved short-term liquor license, the Academy of Music 274 Main Street. This was Friday, September 29th from 7 to 11 for Margot Price, and it was a wine and malt license. And uh, Nikki emailed uh, that day and said it would not be used that night and then brought the physical license to you. Yeah, so it was before the fact, um, same day, but before the event, and they didn't have a license on okay. premise. So. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Um, would somebody, are you guys okay with approving this? Yeah. Okay. Would somebody like to make a motion? Yeah. Uh, I move to approve the request to rescind the previously approved short term liquor license as detailed on item 12 on the agenda. Second. And Jennifer? Yes. Oh, going backwards. Helen? Yes. And Natasha? Yes. Right up the totem pole. It's fine. See, that's it. The best for last. <laughs> Um, 13, is there a motion to approve the minutes for September 6th and October 2nd? Yes, I move to approve the minutes of September 6th and October 2nd, 2023. Second. And Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Great. And do we have any new business? I have nothing. In here? Right. Hey, I got nothing. All right. But happy birthday. That's all I have. What? What? Thanks. Natasha's yeah, birthday? birthday? It is. I moved to sing happy birthday. No. <laughs> <laughs> Second. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. All the same. No need. Hey, so dedicated, whether you're in Ireland or it's your birthday. I know. You appear. No. <laughs> when we appreciate it. <laughs> I just want to make sure our meetings hit all the highlights of her life. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, we're here for you. I've got. No, I don't have anything going on for a while, so oh, it's going to be okay. very boring from here on out. And tonight's just going to be pizza and beer. Is my yeah. plan. Perfect. Pizza <laughs> and beer with folks you love. That's pretty special. So. That's right. That's right. That's what it's about. <laughs> then um, I will make a motion to adjourn. Second. And Natasha. Yes. Ellen. Yes. And Jennifer. Yes. <laughs>